20 minutes with Farpoint webinar series, Introduction to OSDP recorded version. Greetings to all Farpoint partners, friends of Farpoint, colleagues, peers. Welcome to this pod of our 20 minutes with Farpoint webinar series. My name is Stephen Shep Shepherd, Key Account Sales Manager at Farpoint Data. If you are listening, you have decided to stream this webinar from Farpoint's YouTube channel. And from everybody at Farpoint Data, thank you for tuning in. Also, in the parlance of our times, we wish you all good health. Again, we'd like to thank you all for taking the time to listen in on this 20 Minute with Farpoint webinar. Our goal is to keep these webinars relevant and exciting within a reasonable amount of time while also allotting time for question and answer. Now, since this is a recording of the webinar, you will not be able to submit your questions using the presentation software. However, if you have any questions regarding this presentation, please contact your Farpoint Data Regional Sales Manager or our inside customer service and support staff, and we will provide you with details, uh, which we will provide you details of in the last slide in this presentation. For this 20 minute session, we will be talking about the very hot industry topic, OSDP. Now, I'm sure that many of you have heard the acronym in conversation or at symposiums, conferences, trade shows, or maybe recognize the term from a system specification. The reason we chose OSDP as one of our first topics is that in addition to being a hot topic, OSDP is the new CIA standard and just recently announced as an IEC or international standard. So if you plan on being around for a while, there's a strong chance you will be deploying the OSDP protocol. So best you get to know a little bit more about it first. This presentation will cover definitions, key features, compare available protocols, speak about unique selling points, and finally, not to get too philosophical, but why OSDP now? OSDP is a communication protocol. OSDP, or the Open Supervised Device Protocol, was developed and nurtured by a CIA consortium consisting of some of the smartest individuals from our industry. Their initial intent was to create a protocol for communications between electronic access control, or EAC devices, such as readers and controllers. A goal here was expanded capability, and this includes the option of the use of a, of an encrypt, of a secure encryption. A basic definition of encryption is the conversion of information or data into a secret code or cipher. For example, your ID number is 101, you present your card to a reader, and the controller also sees ID 101. But in between the controller and the reader, the data sent or as sent look nothing like ID 101. And that's a good example of encryption. The vision behind OSDP was to facilitate a more secure encrypted connection between a reader and a controller more specifically in deployments that require higher security. For example, a government facility or a data facility or perhaps drug manufacturing. OSDP offers the option of secure communi channel communication between the reader and the controller. Note, this is independent of the encryption between a, a credential and a reader. Also important to highlight, OSDP is a CIA approved standard. It is not a piece of technology owned by any one company and thus is not proprietary. It is an open standard that is global in scope and available for use by any manufacturer. However, this does not mean that proprietary implementations will not arise. For example, the very act of implementing encryption will add the concept of proprietary properties to a system. Key features. OSDP is built on the RS-45 serial transmission standard. RS-45 is the physical layer specifying the actual electrical characteristics of the signal being generated and received. We like to think of OSDP communications as writing on this RS-485 physical layer. The key advantages here are that RS-485 requires just four conductors, two for power and two for data. For example, a Belden 8723 cable might be something you would use. RS-485 is also, also provides for longer cable runs between devices, often up to 4,000 feet. Also compared to Wigan that offers simple point-to-point -point topologies, OSDP offers point-to-point -point and multi-drop, of course, multi-drop will require the individual addressing or naming of the readers within a system. Encrypted communications between a reader controller is a huge feature. OSDP can be used to prevent man-in-the-middle hacks on the data lines. This is the type of hack where a hacker intercepts data, then secretly re relays and possibly alters the communication between the reader and the door controller. Another benefit of OSDP's encryption is data integrity. This concept is often overlooked. Specifically, by implementing encryption, one can trust that the data being communicated is authentic and unaltered from what was originally communicated. Maybe something an IT manager would, very be, inter would be very interested in. And this is a good segue into the IT world. You know, in our IT-centric world, the concept of IT compliance is an emerging need. And this is the process of meeting a specific need, of meeting a specific set of requirements 
for digital or cybersecurity. For example, these requirements might be generated internally by corporate IT, or they may originate from outside the customer's organization. Think of a national organization like an insurance company or a government entity, or perhaps you as a company agree to a standard operating procedure to only supply solutions as standard that are encrypted. These are all examples of IT compliance. This next slide indicates some of the ways that OSDP differs from the Wigan communication protocol and those features and benefits. OSDP provides the option for encrypted channel communication and Wigan does not. So right off the bat as security providers, when you think about OSDP compared to Wigan, most people tend to think of a more secure communication protocol. Known as secure channel, OSDP allows for communication traffic between a reader and a controller to be encrypted. Specifically, this traffic can be encrypted via AES with a 128-bit key. This is real encryption and not just data scrambled. Indeed, AES, or the Advanced Encryption Standard, is itself a recognized and widely adopted specification for the encryption of electronic data established by the, national, by the U.S. National Institute of Standards and Technology. More so, if you think about AES, think about all the global financial and banking institutions. They use AES-128 encryption, the same type of encryption for, using, for, for, for transferring huge sums of money, billions, trillions of dollars around the globe. So again, that is some strong encryption. OSDP provides for two-way communications. Wigan is a one-way street for data. For example, this allows the reader to be queried as to its status. Think about this as a health check or supervision, or maybe sometimes referred to as a tamper. OSDP writing on, a forest, on, writing on RS-45 provides for longer cable runs, while Wigan is shorter. Most Wigan uh, specifications only allow for 500 feet, whereas using OSDP with RS-45, you can go close to 4,000 feet. Wiring topography. OSDP offers optional configurations while Wigan only offers one. This flexibility can be very beneficial in minimizing installation and retrofit operations. You never know what you might run into and having options is never a bad thing. Wiring requirements are also different. An OSDP cable only requires four conductors. Wigan cabling may require five or even more conductors. This makes them larger, heavier, and often more expensive. Finally, OSDP allows for the data rate to be adjusted. With Wigan, this is not the case, or a variable rate. An advantage, is he, an advantage here is that larger quantities of data can be transmitted quicker. Think of a PIV card that has multiple bits. This data can be transmitted in less time using OSDP than it would take Wigan. OSDP selling points are unique selling points. Well, users of physical access control systems have a strong desire for convenience but equally they have a strong expectation of security. So first and foremost, OSDP is more secure than Wigan. The key here is the option of an encrypted channel. OSDP can also save money requiring less wiring. Now here's a question, who doesn't wanna save money? OSDP can often utilize, uh, utilizing OSDP or, implement, or deploying OSDP, you can often utilize existing wiring for retrofits. You know, technology and infrastructure reuse are indeed words we're hearing more and more often today. Flexibility. Looking for traditional point-to-point -point topology, again, very, very common in our industry, this is certainly achievable with OSDP. Looking for the cost savings associated with multi-drop, again, this is also done using the addressability of OSDP readers. Standards. OSDP is a SIA data communication standard. It's built on the RS-45 serial standard and offers the option to use American Encryption Standard, or AES-128 encryption. This is a real CYA. Think about it. When your customer is looking for, for, for insurances, these, this, is a, this is a lot of uh, standards from a lot of industries providing just that. Also, there are emerging compliance initiatives pertaining to OSDP. For example, OSDP Verified has been championed and, has been, and, and just recently has been adopted by SIA. This was a, a joint effort between SIA and ID machines. Such measures would be of great benefit by requiring products to carry a guarantee of compliance with all applicable OSDP requirements. And again, I just saw this um, recently uh, in the end of April is when, um, OSD, is when OSDP Verified uh, was announced by SIA. And then also just recently, the IEC or the International Electro -Tech, uh, uh, Technological Commission uh, has also announced that they are approving the OSDP as an international standard. So again, um, some, that's uh, some uh, serious standards uh, organizations uh, giving it their blessing. Finally, OSDP now. Why now? As security professionals, many of us feel an obligation to present the best security options available to our customers. Technology marches on, and while some technology may leave you scratching your head, OSDP is logical, 
practical, and it's imperative. Today and moving forward, OSDP will greatly influence electronic access control reader and controller development. It's true standardization, again, as we mentioned, taking advantage of, of standards coming in from other organizations as well. You'll see more and more emerging support for it. Uh, I can't believe that any serious reader company or controller company out there is not going to be uh, designing and engineering systems that basically utilize the OSDP standard. But if you don't want to take my word for it, who is this guy here? Well, this is Rodney Thayer. Who? <laughs> Rodney Thayer is a network security practitioner specializing in physical security systems. His convergence engineering practice focuses on technology evaluation, specification, and secure deployment of network attached physical security systems. And I asked Rodney for a quote, and by the way, just as a little bit more layman's term, Rodney is one of those great minds that actually was part of the consortium putting this whole thing together from the beginning. Rodney's quote is this, the adoption and deployment of OSDP will facilitate the development of new and advanced features for readers in the field, basically by being able to communicate to the reader from the controller, we unlock enhanced device control. And I think no better example of this would be, let's say, in an encryption key compromise. You know, if an encryption key gets compromised, you know, that's never a good thing. You know, chances are you're going to have to reissue keys and nobody wants to, or re, I'm sorry, we really are going to have to reissue keys, but you're also going to have to reissue credentials. And nobody likes to do that. But you may also have to, depending on the reader you decide to do, you may have to go out and replace all the readers. Uh, you're definitely going to have to load a new encryption key in. And uh, usually that entails uh, quite a bit of work. But think about it. If you can communicate from a controller down to the reader, then what you could do is through the system, you could get that new encryption key, load it through the controller down to each reader, and that would save a lot of time. And, and I think that that's pretty much what Rodney is talking about. And again, these are just things that will be facilitated by that two-way communication that OSDP provides. However, in the sales arena, and, and this is where I come from, uh, I think OSDP should, be, OSDP should be viewed as a strong selling feature. In fact, I think this is where OSDP is going to get the most traction. A sales professional in today's security industry and today in, who's operating in the fiscal access control system arena, you should learn OSDP. You should integrate it into your, into your presentation. Because if you don't, then you run the risk of having it used against you. And there are some serious benefits provided by OSDP that are going to make that presentation maybe a little stronger than yours if you don't at least know what it is or address it in your presentation. Finally, OSDP is seeing adoption on a wide global scale, and we highly recommend it for your new installs and also consider it for uh, retrofits of your existing, uh, uh, existing sites. Finally, this concludes this webinar, uh, the introduction to OSDP. Once again, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact Farpoint Data with the information shown here. Farpoint does maintain a very aggressive website with several RFID technology and product support tools for product managers, specifiers, consultants, security contractors, dealers, and integrators. Also, if you would like to review any of the 20 Minutes with Farpoint webinars at your leisure, please visit and subscribe to Farpoint's YouTube channel. Thanks again for your time. Stay well. Stay tuned for information on more Farpoint webinars in the future. Farewell.